Hi, this is Jamie for GearBest. I'm here with a C collection, a sea of collections of best-selling Xiaomi earphones at GearBest.com. I've been with these earphones for about a week, testing them out, comparing them. I'll be starting this review with one that I actually is my favorite among four of them, and the one that's the cheapest one, and the one that with the most amazing feature that stuns me, and also finally with the one that just does not speak to me at all. So starting with the one that I actually love a lot. My favorite one among the four, this one. This is wired one, it's called Xiaomi Noise Cancellation Earphone. So here it is, the earphone that I actually like the most among the four. This is the only wired one. I'm a late adopter. I've been living most of my life with wired earphones already. I'm still currently using it. My main earphone is still wired earphone, it's fine. And it does, it's really nice. It actually provides three different size of earbuds for your alternative options. Plus the one that's already on it, that's four. And being a targeted as a actual noise cancellation earphones, this one actually provides extremely and amazing passive noise cancellation. So far, I would say the best I've ever tested, even with my own earphone, nothing competes to this one. That's the best one with passive noise cancellation that I've ever tested. On top of that, with its clips, its controller actually provides active noise cancellation and density option. It's up to you. I never really used this because itself, it's already provides sufficient enough passive cancellation. Usually when I'm with my own earphones, my volume usually goes up to six or seven, but with this one, it usually goes around three to four. Mentioning about its controller, as you can see, it's actually big and kind of bulky, honestly. It's very heavy. It's full aluminum body, full metal with a clip. I, I honestly don't understand why because I really never use it. I just don't see the point. It makes me look kind of goofy in a way. That being said, it's a little bit further away from my actual mouth. If I really need to make phone calls with this, I actually have to hold it myself. Understandably, because it provides a clip option, it would assume that you actually clip it to your dress or your shirt, but that's just not something that I would do. So this is a little bit downside that I've been noticing throughout the week that I've been actually testing it out. Another thing I actually love about this one, one of the, actually one of the main reasons, it's very subjective, it became the, my favorite, is actually it's wire. It's extremely strong. It doesn't make me feel like that I need to pamper it. I don't, I don't need to, you know, just be extremely careful about it. I don't need to be worried about making it dirty, like my Apple earphones, you know, how fragile and how easily get stained those earphones are. I just feel I can bend it or even, you know, just shape it the way that I see fit, just cram it in my bag and go. This is just something that, you know, it makes, it's a really little, very, very small factor, but it's just really something that makes my life a lot more convenient in that regard. It's amazing. I love the texture of it. I love the material of it. This is just, it's it's the thing that my, my earphones just cannot compete. So this one supposedly certificated with high resolution audio. It actually provides very dynamite music or really nice music effect. So I actually put these on and tested it with asthma. My ears actually tickled a lot. There are some downsides. Most of them doesn't bother me. Just one little thing that's very standard, very normal, but it's a little troublesome for me as an iPhone user or a lot of you maybe out there using iPhones that doesn't come with 3.5 millimeter headphone jack anymore, which is this one. I actually have to find the adapter myself. This one comes with Type-C module of earphones. For those of you who are actually have access to Type-C phones, that's great, go for that one. But for iPhone users, fellow crowds out there like me, you gotta get yourself an adapter. So that's pretty much it for my favorite. I've been spending a lot of time using it and also talking about it. Let's move on from the next one, which is the cheapest one. So here we have it, the Xiaomi single earbud. It only comes in one earbud. It's about 15 US dollars. So let me open it up. I've been running it for a week. I do have something to say about it. So there you have it. It's actually plugged it into its own charger. Let's take a quick look at it. I've been addicted to this hand gesture. That's, it's actually very, very tiny compared to my palm. I have very tiny hands, but even with that. So basic requirements, connectability, compatibility. For this one, almost instant Bluetooth connection. I'm very shocked. It's amazing how quick it did. About seven meters of connectability, even with walls. Acceptable, amazing, and also, of course, it reconnects when it went back to its own range. And for lagging-wise, it's less than 0.5 seconds of incoming phone call lagging. This is the best one lagging-wise so far that I've ever met. Granted, 
it does have some disadvantages, like common disadvantages for wireless earbuds. It does catch some surrounding. When you're actually taking your phone calls, it does feel a little bit noisy compared to the wired one with actual mic to your mouth. But I'm still gonna go with it's acceptable in that regard. It doesn't really affect much, but it's, it's something noticeable, but it's just something that, you know, it's inevitable. Very, very easy and convenient operation. I would have to say that. It goes from one click to five click that does almost everything they ever needed. So as you can see, the size and the actual how easy I'm actually holding it. Ear bud itself is only around 14 grams when I'm putting it on. Even though this one doesn't really distinguish left to right, because right ear is actually my normal ear, the, my, the one that I'm actually more comfortable with, it doesn't feel weird. It doesn't feel like I'm actually putting it on the wrong ear. One last pro, of course, being mentioned the cheapest one. This one only costs you for around 15 US dollar. It's amazing. It's extremely portable. See how tiny it is with here? Even with this one, it's already included with the charger. It only takes you about an hour to charge to fully if you charge to the power bank and it lasts for about three hours of music time. But the reason why that I personally just don't pick it as my favorite or me personally wouldn't take into consideration of actually keeping one or getting one for myself is the fact that it only has one. Understandably, single earbuds are more targeted to business people who requests multitasking, just cannot have two earphones together because you need to do something else, even when you're actually on the phone call. But for me, I don't get many phone calls. What I use primarily for my earphones are for music. Testing this one for three days, putting it only on one ear, listening to the music, just giving us very, very serious headache. So that's the point. For me, I'm not gonna keep this. It's a really nice earbuds for business people maybe, for drivers, you know, for those of you who actually requires multitasking, it's amazing. We're moving on to this little pretty bad boy. This is the one with the most surprising features. This is the one that actually outran my own phone's battery. Let's take it out. For those of you who know me, in-ear ear sport, it's always appreciated by me. I love this design. I have very weird ear shape. This is always very much appreciated. Quality-wise, Xiaomi maintained its as usual, amazing, up top-notch, steady product performance. Extremely amazing connectivity and compatibility as usual. This one provides about one second lagging when I pick up the phone. Still better than most of the wireless earbuds available in the market. But what actually surprised me and shocked me and impressed me like by a lot is actually how big of these bad boys batteries are. This one is actually equipped with 120 milliamps of battery. Maybe not specific or clear enough or detailed enough like actually how that it stands for. This one runs for 11 hours for music time nonstop. This is one that actually, for once again, outran my phone. For three days, I was testing it out. I got too tired just by listening to the music with this one. I actually have to put the music on with this one and my phone ran out of battery before this one does. When I was fueling it up, when I was charging it, it only takes about 120 minutes charged to the full. With all these amazing connectability, compatibility, and its battery capacity, this one actually costs you only around 20 US dollar. So quickly wrapping it up, I'm gonna move on to the one that just does not speak to me at all. And there you have it, the Xiaomi Sports earbuds with neckband. Honest to God, when I first received this earbud, I was extremely reluctant to actually test it out. Throughout three days of testing and um, about a week of struggling, I have to be honest, I still don't like it, but it's for very subjective personal reason, aesthetic reason, simply because of the neckband. It just, I just don't like how it kind of strangle or smother me a little. I understand that these are for, you know, for more of the outdoor sports. It's, it does provide like a sense of, you know, security in a way that actually protects your earphones without, you know, gone missing or actually without strangling your wire. But I still don't like it. It's, it's honest. I just don't like the neck band. But the earphone itself, it actually provides CSR stereo. The dynamite of the music it's providing is actually amazing. 
and it also has a very, very huge battery capacity. This one runs about eight hours and 30 minutes, despite the specification that says it runs eight hours. And when I charge it, it only took me about an hour and 20 minutes, give or take. Battery-wise, it's still amazing. It's a really big battery capacity. You really need this if you're actually outdoor, maybe hiking or doing some more intense or time required kind of sports. And the fact that this one actually provided magnets that allows you to stick both of your earphones together without leaving it hanging and wandering around when you're not using it. And despite the fact that this one actually didn't specify about being waterproof, sweatproof or not, I tested it out by myself. It's actually sweatproof. So even for intense sports, gym going, it doesn't matter. It's fine, it's sweatproof 100%. Finally, pricing wise, this one costs you around 60 US dollars. The most expensive one among the four of them. But when I, I did some comparison, when I was testing it out, wondering why it's so expensive. Among all the other brands or all the other earphones on the market, this one's actually given its specifications, given what it's capable of. This is actually a really nice bargain here. So with that being said, wrap this long review about all the popular Xiaomi earphones that we have at gearbest.com up. This is Jamie, thank you for watching this and thank you for staying with me till the end of this video and I'll see you next time.